lightning stricken cactus in Neither of these are an exact replica of Kiara's necklaces, but they're a much cheaper alternative and makes for a fun craft. So I'm just gonna start with some yarn. You can use any yarn as long as it's not fuzzy. This can be any color you want because it's gonna get hidden anyways. And then you just measure it around where you want it. You can make this into an anklet, a bracelet, but I'm gonna be making a necklace. So then I just doubled that length and this is gonna make a loop at the top. I recommend keeping it a little longer than you want just so that there's room at the end to tie. So now that I have this length of yarn, I can then make more, and you don't have to do this, but I want my necklace to be a little bit thicker, like the circumference of it to be a little bit thicker. So I'm just gonna do that again. The next thing you're gonna need is some embroidery thread. I'm just gonna be using black and white because that's what Tiara's necklaces had. You know last year I made a video that was super popular and I used colorful ones, so you can just use any colors you want. And you're gonna want to make these at least triple the length of your original string. But because I'm just using two colors, you're gonna wanna make it even longer so that you have enough to wrap around the whole thing. I'm gonna make mine going double the length just to be on the safe side, I probably won't end up using this much string. So then I'm just gonna fold that in half and add the middle part to the loop at the top of the yarn. So then I'm gonna take some of my white embroidery thread, again, you can use any colors you want, and just get the same length of string. So here I'm just looping them at the top so that they're all one piece. And then I'm going to tie a knot at the top of the loops so that it makes a closed off loop. <laughs> And I truly think you looked amazing when I saw you standing there. All I really know is I was waiting. Okay, so now I have everything, my yarn and all my colors of embroidery thread looped with a knot at the top. And I'm just gonna take the color I wanna start with. I will warn you guys, this is kind of the hardest part. So take both strings of the color that I want because it's folded over and just start turning the main loop so that the color you want starts to wrap around and try to make this as tight as possible. I'll give you ukulele lessons one day. So every once in a while, since you're twisting, this will get all knotted. So just try and untangle it so that it makes your life in the future easier. <laughs> so once you have the length that you want wrapped around, then you can just hold on to the bottom of what you've just wrapped around with your non-dominant thumb and pointer finger, then grab on to the next color you want to switch to, both strings, and hold down the old strings you were using and wrap around them to tack them down to the rest, and then just keep wrapping. So just to re re reiterate that, how to switch colors, hold on to the wrapped part so it doesn't unravel, drop down the old two pieces of thread you were using so that they combine with the rest of the yarn and then pick up the next color you want to use and then start wrapping it around the older color to tack it down. Now obviously this is just personal preference but I personally think that it looks much better if there's a lot of variation in the lengths of the colors you're using just to kind of switch it up. Creatures days to nocturnal days makes you forget about all types of things so I'm about halfway through my necklace. You can actually do a swirl between two colors. All you have to do is take one of each color or shade and just wrap around like you normally would. It's super simple. And then you end up with a cool swirl effect. Okay, so I am finishing up with my necklace. It's about the right length and I'm really happy with how it's looking. So I'm just gonna tie it up. I ran out of white and so now it's just like a few short pieces of white and the burgundy yarn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie, so that it's not a big chunky knot, I'm gonna tie the black that I have left in a knot around to secure it and make this super tight so it doesn't unravel before you want it to. So now it's all tied off and there's nothing to worry, I don't have to worry about it unraveling. And then you just have to tie it on. If you want to try and make the other necklace, just buy an assortment of beads and string them on to some string in a pattern. Satisfy the songs and make you ones about the bigger picture in your life. The simple times in the era.